Welcome back to the Sid and Tim show. And today we are going to talk to you about crazy vendors. Well, only halfway. So we did share with you guys a few videos back that we had been experiencing um, some troublesome vendors, you know, growing pains. Yeah, growing pains and really um, some, what do you call Personality them? conflicts. Nasty grams, if you will. <laughs> Anyways, it really, you know, it makes it really challenging for us yeah. to move forward when we're experiencing this kind of negativity and drama. And so what do you do? Quite honestly, there are times that we just feel like we don't want to do bliss anymore. Give like up. We're so miserable that we just want to give up. Um, but unfortunately that's not an option because this is our livelihood. Yeah. This is how we take care of our families. And, um, at the end of the day, we do care for all of our vendors and we do care about their happiness and how they fit into our shop. So, um, giving up simply isn't an option and you have to find a way to work through it. Uh, there's resources, resources out there mm -hmm. all over the place in books. YouTube um, videos, YouTube videos, uh, mentor, mentors, uh, mentors, yeah, talking um, to other people who other are other business owners, exactly, who may share the same challenges, exactly, and that's exactly what I did. I reached out to my Facebook group of antique and vintage mall owners and chatted with them some, but I also, um, I started reading some books. I listened to Never Lose a Customer Again. Um, by Joey Coleman, and I'm also uh, listening to another book called Hug Your Haters, which has helped me kind of process what's going on with our vendors and look at it from a different perspective and really look at it um, from their perspective, put myself in their shoes so that we can improve our systems and hopefully not have this kind of drama in the future. Yeah, yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah. I mean, you can't avoid it 100%. Maybe... Just reduce the percentage, right? Maybe if we could reduce the percentage. So anyways, once you start educating yourself and, you know, looking at this situation from a different perspective, it helps you understand it and move past it. Mm -hmm. And then everybody involved, including our family, is better for it. Yeah. I sleep better at night. <laughs> I sleep better with melatonin. So there you go. <laughs> then I don't have to think about stuff. Right. We'll see you next time on... The, the Sid and Tim, Tim Show. show.